guys. Welcome back to Little Piece of Heaven Farm. I'm Cheryl. And today, we are going to make uh, chicken tenders. Um, I had at work, I picked up some um, boneless chicken breasts and had the butchers cut it into strips. So I got a bunch of strips here. And I have heavy cream in this bowl and then in this bowl I have about a little more than a half a cup of coconut flour with some black pepper and about a quarter cup of uh, flaxseed meal that I, I ground, ground up my flaxseed in the coffee grinder and I'm just going to mix that up And the chicken breast, I would say it's about, it was a big package, so I had them all, do them all in strips, and then I made different meals with them. But anyway, uh, this is about, uh, about three, maybe four breasts. And then in this little guy, I have about a tablespoon, a teaspoon of paprika. I have uh, two teaspoons of um, parsley flakes. I have about a teaspoon and a half of the beer can seasoning. And then I have two teaspoons of Old Bay seasoning. And then in this bowl, I have shredded, and it's unsweetened, um, let's see if you can see that, unsweetened coconut, and I'll show you the bag that I bought. This is the bag I bought. It's the Red Mill Coconut Unsweetened Shredded. And I'm going to put all this stuff in and blend it all up. And then in this bowl, of course, I have an egg. And I'm going to add a little bit of water, about, about a quarter cup. And we're going to dip the chicken in the heavy cream, then in the flour, of uh, the coconut flour, and then we're going to put it in the egg, and then we're going to put it in the coconut. And then we're going to put it on a plate. And then after we get it all breaded and everything, you over to the stove. Okay. So you guys ready? Just coat it in the milk and the cream. Then into the flour mixture. Then into the egg wash. And then into the coconut. And see how that is? And I'm going to put it all on the plate. And I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to do one more for you and then. Um, I'll bring you back when I have them all breaded and to the oven, but to the stove, I should say, because we're going to pan fry them, because I don't think a lot of people have air fryers, because you can do this on a, in an air fryer.
also. But I figure maybe a lot of people don't have an air fryer. So I'm going to just pan fry them on, on the stove. Okay guys, here's the chicken. It's all breaded. Now we're going to go over to the oven. Well, excuse me, <laughs> the stove. <laughs> and uh, we'll, we're going to start frying these up. Okay, in my pan I have some canola oil that I have. I have some uh, co uh, coconut oil. <laughs> Can't even speak. And I'm going to put in a little bit of ghee that I made. And we're going to start frying these up. Okay, guys, I think it's ready. Start putting these pieces in. Oh, uh, they're it's not that quite hot yet. And I'm going to set my timer for four minutes. And we're going to fry these for four minutes. And then flip them over and then fry them for another four minutes. Okay guys, they're almost ready to be flipped over. So we're going to flip these guys over. And we're going to cook them for another four minutes. And okay. This bunch is done. And tell you the truth, to be honest with you, I don't like the way they turned out. They're falling apart. So I am going to dig out my air fryer. And I'm going to show you guys maybe a comparison. I mean this one pretty much stayed. It's like the breading practically fell off in the pan. And let's see how they look. Move this over because Really? Uh, um, not a fan of that. So, let's see what the air fryer does. And I do have plenty left. Okay, here's my air fryer, and I already sprayed the inside. And I'm going to put the chicken pieces in. And we're going to cook this like on 375 for about 10 minutes and then flip them and then 10 minutes more I just want to make sure that I have done this right and have them come out really nice so I'm going to spray the top of them. And put them in. Oops.
there we go. We're going to cook them for 10 minutes on this side. And my, my air fryer, fryer won't go to 375 for some reason, but it's at 380. That's okay. And uh, we'll come back. Okay, guys. The air fryer went off. Ooh, these look a lot, lot better. A lot better. I think the air fryer is the way to go. Or probably in an oven. This one was just plain. I ran out of the rest of the breading, so I just made a plain one. But yeah, I think the air fryer is the way to go. Or an oven. Pan frying them. Not so much. Pan fried, air fryer. Pan fried, air fryer. Which one would you like? This one is just plain, so it doesn't really count. <laughs> but anyway, um, I think the air fryer is better. All right, guys. Thanks for coming to the farm today and hanging out with me this evening. And I'll see you guys on the next video. And I appreciate each and one, every one of you. Talk to you soon. Bye.